Surface area of a circle. Oh boy, <laughs> you figure this out. When you do this, I can't think of any application in the electrical trade that you actually would figure out the area of a circle because conduit fill. No, because the code book gives you the areas of the circles. Not if you have well a cable, but if you have a cable. If you yeah. have a okay, yeah. yeah, okay. When we're yeah. having raceways and we're putting wires in raceways, the code tells you what the area is of the raceway, and the code tells you what the area is of wires. But then you might have wires that are not listed in code, like right. PV wire. Solar yep. PV wire yep. is a wire that's higher voltage rated, and we have established when we talked about 310.4 on wire insulation in the code book, we talked about insulation 600 volt. Higher voltage rated wire, what happens to the what? The mill thickness of the wire got greater. That's right. Well, PV wire is rated 2,000 volts, and it's really not listed in 310.4, so therefore it's a thicker insulation. And the code says, look, if you get wires that are not in this code book, you're going to have to figure out what the area is to do the calculation because, see, you can only fit so many wires physically inside of a raceway. Well, then you need to know the area of the raceway, you need to know the allowable fill, and then you need to know the area of the conductors to fill it in. And if, if the COPA gives you the raceway and the COPA gives you the wire, well, it's easy. But if it gives you the raceway, but you got a unique wire or you have a cable because you can right. put cables in raceways, then we need to be able to figure out the area of those raceways. Okay, so good point. And the formula is pi times the radius square, or pi r square is, is what I always say. And pi is a unit of 3.14, and I don't think they ever figured out what the end of that is, but we round it off to 3.14, <laughs> and we just say, okay, that's close enough. Um, so 3.14 is pi. So let's go with an example. What's the surface area of a slice of an of a 8-inch pizza? Well, if it's pi r squared, which is 3.14 .4 times um, the radius, and did we say mm. radius? Stop. Oh, we didn't describe the radius, up. so we need to make sure we describe radius in the textbook if we don't describe the radius. Stop. Graphics wrong. Which one? The radius is not eight inches. <clears throat> well, it's eight times 0. 0.5. And so yeah, eight times we're, 0. We're, 0. 5 is we have to figure okay. out the radius. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're radius good. This is four, right? Yeah, the radius. I'm just going to lead into it right now. I'll start okay. it again. Ready? Eric? In. Tell three. Jacob to start this again. He, four. He'll know. Oh, okay. Jacob, Jacob, make a note. In three, two. Okay, the surface area of a circle. It's kind of cool because one of the applications is that you have circular raceways, right? And then you're going to be putting in circular wires inside circular raceways, and you can only put so many wires physically inside of a pipe because of physical construction uh, restrictions. So the code tells you you can only fill it up to a certain percentage fill. Percentage, we've got to use percentages there. And, and now the code book will actually give you the area of a circle for the pipe, and it'll give you the area of the wires. Well, then you don't have to calculate the area of conductors, of circles. But sometimes you're going to get wires that are not actually listed in the code book, or you might even get cables that won't be listed in the code book. And then you need to be able to figure out, okay, well, how many wires or how many cables can I put in this particular raceway? Well, then you need to know the formula, and the formula is pi, the area of a circle. Let's make a note of that, Mario. Area of a circle is equal to pi, and if you look down here, the note here is 3.14, pi, 3.14, times the radius, and, and maybe we'll put an asterisk note or something like that. The radius is half of a diameter. So let me get to this graphic here, and I can show you here. Here is an 8-inch diameter. We'll add a little point from the center here across here, and we'll add on the graphic 4 inches. The 4 inches is the radius because the radius is half the diameter. The diameter is from the outside, the outside edge of a perfect circle, and the formula is 3 times the radius squared, and the radius is half, so you can see the 8 inches, which is the diameter, times 50% because it's half of that value. So it's going to be 3.14 times 4 inches squared, which is the radius squared. 
So then 3.14 is equal to, we talked about squaring a number, multiplying by itself. So 4 times 4. Well, then it's 3.14 times 16, which comes out to be, um, I wonder what that number comes out to be if it, if it was very close to 50 and we rounded it off. There's an example. Yeah, we rounded off the 50 inch. So, but what's interesting about the area of circles is that if you went to a 16 inch pizza, it's still pi r squared. Pi is 3.14 times the radius, which is going to be the 8 inches, which is 50% of the diameter squared. So 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. 3.14 comes out to be 200 square inches. Now watch this. An 8-inch pizza is 50 square inches. A 16-inch pizza is 200 square inches. You get yourself a large or extra large pizza, the amount of pizza that you get is astronomically larger. You would never, ever in your lifetime ever order a small pizza again. You always order large pizzas. And, and what, this is true, sorry. My childhood was incredibly poor. I mean, you go to mikeholt.com slash, I think, Mike, and then you can know about my story. And when you're very, very, very poor, and I happen to know math, and I'm looking to buy a pizza and a little family and I'm trying to take off here, you know, I'm just trying to survive. I knew about areas because I like math and I wondered what does it cost me per square inch for a pizza of the different sizes? And that's when I found out, oh my gosh, I can like for 50% more get like 200% more pizza. Now the point, however, I'm trying to lead up besides that to convince you to buy large pizzas is that when you go to a raceway and you have a two inch raceway and you have a four inch raceway, okay? A two inch raceway and a four inch raceway, it's going to have what? Uh, what percentage more? Let me go back here. What's gonna happen well, here? It's going to have, I don't show the multiplier. It should be four times in this case here. Yeah. It's gonna be four times larger area. Right. So it's just, it, cause it's, watch this in math. And this is gonna happen multiple times as we go along. It's the square of the voltage. Uh, it's I squared. When you get into squaring of numbers, it dramatically changes things. So in this case here, we were going with pi R squared for area. We're just exercising. Highly unlikely in this class you'll be deal dealing with that. But when you get into exam prep, you guys getting ready and you're all ready to take your test, guess what? They're going to ask you, hey, I got NM cable. I got some Romex cable. I want to put it in a raceway. What size raceway? Like, ooh. You got to know how to size the area of a circle. Of course, it's not a circle, but that's another story.